Parliament's back, but while we're back to a normal schedule, there's nothing normal about how we've been running. Like many others, we've had to adapt to COVID-19 restrictions. Anybody entering the building has to have a health and temperature check and social distancing is being taken very seriously. In the chamber, for example, there are very few members that can be in there at any one time. So many members will be watching the proceedings from their office. This week has seen two large protests outside parliament. Frontline staff, including nurses, teachers and transport workers, rallied in opposition to the government's proposed 2.5% wage increase freeze, which, by the way, I am on the record as also opposing. The move by the government was blocked in the upper house last Tuesday night, so now it will proceed to the Industrial Relations Commission and we'll have to wait and see what happens there. More than 3,000 people marched down Macquarie Street in a Black Lives Matter rally. This was a reflection of the very troubling circumstances playing out in the US and now in countries and communities around the world. Adding to local concern was a very disturbing incident between a police officer and a youth at Redfern. We really are in some very challenging times at the moment, but I'm very confident that we're going to come out of this as a stronger community.